I'm Sharon Jurd and welcome to my Biz Blitz video. Today I want to talk to you about how to get more speaking gigs. So if you're a speaker and it's a part of your business and you're finding that, you know, you're just not getting asked to do presentations and come and speak for audiences, how, what do you need to do to get more of that? Um, so I'm going to share with you just a couple of points that have helped my speakers in SMJ Coaching Institute. Firstly, research events. The people who are uh, holding events, who are promoters, are actually organizing at least 12 months out, sometimes two years out. So look at the events that are happening now and research when the next time they'll be happening. Sometimes they happen each year or um, every second year. Then con make contact with those promoters or event organizers to talk about next year. So I've got bookings for speaking gigs into next year already, into mid next year, because I've been speaking to event holders or event organizers all the way through 2019, knowing that um, they will engage me to speak at the 2020 um, events. So you've got to be working well in advance. A lot of people are calling up event organizers a few months out and they've already got their speakers lined up. They've already got the marketing going. It's way too late then. Secondly, talk to everyone you know. Think about all the people who are holding their own events. Um, talk to them, suggest that it might be a good idea for you to come along and add value to their audiences. Even if it's not a multi-speaker event, they may speak themselves all the time but if you suggest that you come along and you have some value to add, then they um, will definitely say yes for you to come along. But tell the people who aren't holding events. You have to tell everybody that you're a speaker and you have to remind them on a regular basis because they forget that that's what you do. Even if they see it on social media day in, day out that you're a speaker, they still forget. So you have to be reminding people of what you do. Everywhere you go, you should be saying to people, can I, you know, can I speak on your podcast? Can I speak you know, at your event? Can I come and speak to your team? And, and make suggestions around what you could do for them. Because some people go, oh, you just speak from stage you don't run workshops well yes I do you know and then other people might say oh I thought you just ran workshops I didn't realize you spoke from stage so you've got to be reminding them that that you have a suite of um, added value uh, that you can add to their team or their audiences and so forth thirdly hold your own events I know many speakers who have built their speaking business around originally holding their own events getting credibility as a speaker, getting video footage, getting photos, building that profile around them being um, a speaker encourages other people to go, oh, well, um, you know, I saw Sharon, you know, speaking at her own events. I'm wondering if she would come and speak at my event. So there are my three points. One, research the events in the future, not that's happening now. Talk to everyone you know. Make sure you're reminding them that you are a speaker and what you actually do. And thirdly, hold your own events. Don't be scared to do that. They don't have to be 400 people. Just have about four people or six people or eight people and get the footage and get the credibility about uh, you becoming a speaker. So if you uh, think that this video has been of value, please share it out to your family, friends and colleagues because I want to help as many people as I can and I need your help to do that. I'm Sharon Jurd and we'll talk very soon.